is News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for staying with us, Eric is off tonight. We are continuing to bring you the latest information about COVID-19. Right now in Wisconsin, seven people have died from the illness, and that includes the first death that was reported in Dane County today. Also, there are now over 600 positive cases in the state, and that includes a Madison Metro bus driver, who according to a letter sent to Metro Transit employees, the letter says the employee last worked on March 19th. Now, one of the confirmed cases is from an employee at Fort McCoy. A Department of the Army civilian employee tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. According to Army officials, the employee is currently in isolation following medical guidance at their residence. There are more than 60,000 reported cases of the virus in America and more than 800 deaths. New York has become the epicenter with more than 26,000 cases. That's about seven times as many as the next closest state, New Jersey. And this just in, the Edgewater Hotel in downtown Madison is laying off 202 employees. The Edgewater notified Wisconsin Workforce Development that the mass layoff and reduction of hours are expected to be temporary. It goes on to say it is unknown when the staff will be back. Employees were laid off on March 18th. Governor Evers' safer at home order is now in effect, and the order says you can only leave your home for essential trips like purchasing groceries or medication or going to see loved ones. You cannot host gatherings of people beyond the ones living in your home. Governor Evers and local law enforcement are telling people that they are not required to have special permission or paperwork to leave their homes. They will also not be pulled over by officers. And just a reminder, here is a list of essential and non-essential businesses, hardware stores, gas stations, pharmacies, healthcare, convenience and grocery stores will remain open during the safer at home order. Schools, libraries, movie theaters, playgrounds, salons and gyms will remain closed. The order will remain in effect for one month. Leaders at every level have expressed worries over the economic impact of this order. Area businesses are depending on consumers to continue to help them through it. Amy Reed joins us live to explain what you can do. Amy? Many of the shops here at Hilldale chose to close before this order went out, but now some will have to stay closed. This is worrisome to business owners. I spoke to the president of the Greater Madison Chamber, and he said he and businesses understand this is what's best for public health, but there will be impacts on the economy. To minimize that, the chamber encourages businesses to continue paying employees and vendors as long as they can. They also ask the public if you're financially able to consider buying gift cards to local shops, don't donate money and tip well. Some silver lining here. The chamber says given Madison's younger workforce and industry diversity, we're in a better position than most to recover. Yeah, the next 30 days are going to be difficult for business and for employees of those businesses. But as we start to think about recovery, uh, Dane County, Greater Madison, this region is positioned to be one of the, uh, the bright spots in helping the economic recovery of this country. For businesses out there with questions, the Chamber has set up a portal for you to ask. They also have answers to frequently asked questions. We'll link you to that on our website. For the rest of us, the Chamber says any way that we can help keep the economy going will be beneficial once the economy slows down or stops. He says we will all feel it. Amy, thank you. There have been a lot of changes on the UW campus the past few weeks, and those who work in housing are rolling with them. Typically, university housing serves about 8,000 students, many who still have items left inside their dorms. About half packed up their rooms before spring break, and on Sunday, around 1,800 students returned to campus to pack it all up. Campus staff will now begin the process of packing up their rooms for them. They have any specific items that they have concerns about or that they want us to pack in a special way or if they want to give any direction to us about that, they can certainly email us. Now their uh, area also about 600 students still living on campus because they don't have access to internet or are international students with travel restrictions. Those students will be moved in four buildings starting this week to consolidate them while also maintaining social distancing. Election officials announced today that online voter registration is reopening until March 30th to allow people to register to vote and request an absentee ballot ahead of the election on April 7th. A federal district court ordered that online registration be extended 
intended to give people who are unable to leave their homes due to the coronavirus more time to register and request an absentee ballot. The extension exclusively applies to the April 7th spring election and presidential primary. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is April 2nd. Meanwhile, the city of Green Bay filed a federal lawsuit seeking to cancel in-person voting. River Falls officials are questioning how they can run the election when Governor Evers has issued a stay-at-home order. But the legislature's Republican leaders say they are backing Evers' decision to keep the election on track. The election features a Supreme Court race and hundreds of local races in addition to the presidential primary. The Senate is expected to approve a more than $2 trillion <clears throat> excuse me, stimulus package today. The bill includes a cash payment of up to $1,200 for most working Americans and $500 for children. It also expands unemployment insurance for an additional 13 weeks and boosts the benefits by $600 for up to four months. The plan contains nearly $400 billion in loans and grants to small businesses to keep workers on the payroll, plus another $500 billion in loans for major industries like the airlines. These benefits will be much easier to access and will be expanded to include part-time, self-employed, freelancers, and gig economy workers. It's a rescue operation. The resources that our health care providers need and the resources that our economy needs. Earlier today, I hope we the president is also stepping up his calls to get Americans back to work by Easter. He says he will reevaluate when the national 15-day social distancing guidelines expire next week. As the number of coronavirus cases rise, scientists around the world are committing entire labs to create a vaccine. Just last week, researchers in Washington state conducted their first vaccine test in a person. Another vaccine is being developed in Gaithersburg, Maryland, that's seeing positive results after a few weeks of trials. Dr. Gregory Glenn is the head of research and development for Pharmatech Lab Novavax. He and his team have spent weeks developing a vaccine. Dr. Glenn says he's close to a potential solution. What does this look like six months from now, a year from now, in terms of not only the development of a vaccine, but just how severe this could get? Well, from a vaccine development, I think we'll have evidence in humans that it could work. Doctors at the Moderna lab in Seattle say while a commercially available vaccine would not be available for another year to 18 months, they are looking at an emergency use vaccine that could be available for healthcare professionals by the fall of this year. The Dane County Jail is testing new technology that will help stop the spread of coronavirus. The jail obtained two Skytron UV emitters earlier this week. The devices are typically used in a medical setting to emit germ deactivating UV energy. They are effective on both contaminated surfaces and the air. Dane County Sheriff Dave Mahoney says he's working to get as many inmates as possible released from the jail to minimize the risk of COVID-19 to inmates and staff. As of Wednesday, the jail's under roof population is 562 in comparison to 746 on March 10th. That's according to a release the Sheriff's Office has 74 inmates at home on GPS monitoring. Well, people who have birthdays during the shutdown are disappointed that they can't celebrate in the way they planned. That was certainly the case for a 10-year-old Sauk Prairie boy who just wanted to celebrate his birthday at Sky Zone with his friends. But his community did something good, turning it into a birthday he will never forget. Jamie Perez has the story. It's times like these that can bring out the best in people. For his 10th birthday yesterday, all Jude Thompson wanted was to be with his friends and celebrate the way any other kid his age would. Didn't think it would be as fun as any of the other ones. But because everything in our lives is canceled right now, Jude couldn't go anywhere or hang out with his friends, and his parents couldn't get him a present. We weren't able to really give him a present because Amazon didn't ship it in time. On his actual birthday, Jude went on a bike ride around his neighborhood and saw that his friends and community helped him celebrate in a different way. We felt bad because he can't have a birthday party, so we wanted to do that for him. Lined up along the streets were signs, people singing in megaphones, and friends keeping their social distance, wishing Jude a happy birthday. He had a really big smile. He was happy and surprised. It made me feel happy because I helped someone else. Jude said even though it wasn't the Sky Zone birthday he planned. It was pretty awkward. Not only did he get a birthday celebration after all in an unexpected way. He was telling us his mom how, like, how what he did for his birthday like he set up like virtual reality like 
pizza party for him, and it sounded really cool. But it taught him and his friends a life lesson, too. We felt really good about it and felt happy that he was happy. Be kind, and then maybe something else will happen to you that's kind. Kindness, the one thing that hasn't been canceled when everything else has. Not once did he comment about a, a not having a birthday party. Not once did he really comment about not having a present because he was so excited about what his neighborhood family and friends did for us. In Sauk Prairie, I'm Jamie Perez. It's something that he will remember forever. It's something that our entire family will cherish forever. News 3 Now. Jude, happy belated birthday. If you know someone who is doing something good, please send your story ideas our way. Forget about the form online, just email us. There can never be enough kindness shared in our world today. Absolutely. And acts of kindness are popping up all over Wisconsin during the virus pandemic, including the Isles of Metcalfs in Madison. Earlier this month, the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County set up its emergency and recovery fund to help families in our community during the pandemic. A club board board member was shopping at Metcalf's on behalf of a family of five, but was only allowed to spend $300. When the final bill for the groceries came in, nearly $360, well, that's when a group of employees stepped in and donated money to cover the rest of the bill. It's right, it's genuine, it's from their heart uh, to help those people that, you know, have food insecurity right now. I'm just so proud of both of them. We want to hear about some of the positive news happening in your community right now. Send us your story ideas to tips at channel3000.com. The United States Postal Service is currently hiring hundreds of employees. The open positions include city carrier assistant, mail handler assistant, and post support employees. Some of the positions are longer term positions. The hourly wages range from 17 to 18.50 an hour with varying shifts and days off. To help maintain its services during the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic, Dane County is giving Domestic Abuse Intervention Services, Inc., $58,000 in emergency funding over the next two months. The funding will help operations of the 24-hour helpline and the only shelter for domestic violence victims and their children in Dane County. Two local boys are making sure everyone stays active while being quarantined. 12. This is Logan and Austin, two brothers from Sun Prairie who call themselves Baby Beast Mode and Brother. Since being quarantined, the brothers are releasing daily videos and showing exercises that can be done while staying inside. Some of their workouts include jumping jacks, high knees, and star jumps. They post videos every day on their YouTube <laughs> page. And people around our viewing area are continuing to spread messages of positivity during this time. These images are from a neighborhood on the west side of Madison. Viewer Mary Dwyer was out for a walk when she came about the sidewalk chalk art. She said we need all the positive thinking we can get. And let's check your first worn forecast with our positive thinker, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Well, look on the bright side. The temperature is the temperatures will be warm enough that the precipitation that we'll see over the next few days will not be in the form of snow. It will be in the form of rain. A visible cloud track. We've had clouds for much of the day. There were a few peaks of sun, but the thicker clouds are moving in along with some showers. Looks like a little band of showers moving through Madison with the steadier rains farther to the north up in central Wisconsin. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures will stay fairly mild, but drop off into the middle 40s by early tomorrow morning and low 40s by uh, about 7 a.m. Tomorrow, we'll see some more showers develop in the afternoon. In between, we might see some patchy fog overnight. Tomorrow's high temperature at 48. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that could include some thunderstorms by Saturday, along with milder weather. All right, Carrie, thank you. Ahead on News 3 Now at 5, gas prices continue to drop due to COVID-19 pandemic, where the cheapest prices in Wisconsin are right now. And coming up tonight at 6, our health care workers have been working nonstop. How they are being recognized for their efforts tonight at 6. And on Wall Street, the Dow up almost 500 points, NASDAQ down 34, and the S&P up 28 points. We'll be right back. It's time to spring forward and embrace the longer, brighter days ahead. It's also the time to get your home improvement projects going with 33% off windows, siding, and doors at Feldco. Plus, no interest until 2021. Kickstart your season, save some serious cash, and let the good times roll. Feldco, improving lives one home at a time. 33% off ends Tuesday. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 866 
for Feldco. Only the five and up lineup from Pizza Hut lets you get some of these. A bunch of these or all of these. Starting at just five bucks each when you choose two or more. No one out pizzas the hut. My money should work as hard as I do. So I use my Freedom Unlimited card to buy all the latest tech stuff. Today, I'm earning on a charger. So just the charger then? Um. Ah. <laughs> Fantastic. Earn 1.5% cash back on everything you buy with Freedom Unlimited. Chase, make more of what's yours. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else, so why accept it from your allergy pills? Flonase relieves your worst symptoms, which most pills don't. Get all-in-one allergy relief for 24 hours with Flonase. Toyota's family stretches to every corner of this country so you can trust us to be here for you. As we remain committed to supporting our community. Because the Toyota family is stronger together. This is our pledge. We are here for you now and in all the better days ahead. Toyota. Feed your family for less with Hy-Vee Mealtime. Delicious meals to go that feed a family of four for just $19.99. That's just $5 a person. Try our delicious pasta dinner. Get both lasagna and chicken alfredo with breadsticks or garlic cheese bread and a two liter of Coke. Hy-Vee Chinese with four entrees, rice, egg rolls, crab rangoon, and Coke. Or two family-sized pizzas, breadsticks, or garlic cheese bread and Coke. Make mealtime easy with Hy-Vee Mealtime to go. Thursday morning, we're helping families pass the time with our Stuck at Home Challenge. We'll also be talking about how you and your family can navigate this new normal. That and the latest updates on the coronavirus outbreak starting at 4.30. For the latest coronavirus reports and breaking news, watch News 3 now and go to Channel 3000 to sign up for our daily email newsletter. Get the facts and tips to keep your family safe. News 3 now, your local coronavirus headquarters. A broadhead man is facing charges after claiming he had COVID-19 following a traffic stop. This happened Saturday in Broadhead. An officer said that a car driven by 26-year-old Tyler Abraham was squealing its tires and he shouted something at officers. Police pursued Abraham, but he took them on a chase. Finally, Janesville police located his vehicle and took him into custody. That is when he said he had the coronavirus. He was taken to jail and when he was there, he vomited on the floor, then flung it at officers. Abraham could face several charges. Gas prices are continuing to drop due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Check out the prices at this pump. This is in Walworth County, 99 cents for a gallon of regular gas. Now, according to Gas Buddy, Delavan and Elkhorn, Wisconsin, had the lowest prices in the state. In Madison, gas prices are about $1.35 per gallon. AAA says the national average is about $2.08 a gallon. North Mississippi residents are cleaning up after a tornado moves through Tishomingo County. The tornado touched down at around 530 and quickly moved east along Highway 30 into Alabama. The Dollar General was reportedly destroyed as the tornado ripped through. There was also other structural damage. So far, there are no reports of serious injuries or fatalities. Well, let's get a look at our first worn weather. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canelty has your forecast. Gary? The weather a lot more tranquil around here, but it has been cloudy for the most part, and we are seeing some showers. There's the live view from the Edgewater Sky Camp. Kind of a gray day here across southern Wisconsin. We've had a little bit of sun um, at times, but for the most part, it's been mostly cloudy. And now a band of showers is moving through Madison from southwest to northeast. Central Wisconsin has seen steadier rain through the afternoon, so the amounts of rain that we get over much of southern Wisconsin will be relatively light, and we'll probably see the same thing happen again tomorrow. Some afternoon and evening showers. In between, we'll see some areas of fog overnight. That'll be the case again for tomorrow night as well. As we take a look at future track precipitation, though, over the next few days, taking us through the weekend, Probably looking at somewhere between about an inch and an inch and a half of rain over southern Wisconsin. Some of that will be in the form of thunderstorms on Saturday.
Saturday. If you get a heavier thunderstorm, some of those amounts could be a little bit higher. Otherwise, three things to know in the forecast. Those showers are likely this evening and probably again tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. In between, we'll see some fog overnight and then again for tomorrow night. And then again, uh, we'll see the thunderstorm chances on Saturday. That'll probably be our mildest day with high temperatures in the upper 50s. As we look at weather track out in the Pacific Ocean, big storm system in the central Pacific Ocean heading up toward the Gulf of Alaska. Again, a bit of a break here. So that's what we have to look forward to as we head into the early part of next week. I think the weather pattern will slow down at least for a few days across much of the country. Right now, that southwest to northeast wind flow bringing our weather system through, but it's moving through pretty quickly. The severe weather from yesterday down to Mississippi and Alabama has moved off the coast. The next weather system waiting in the wings to our south and west across the western part of the country. You can see the more widespread rain up in central Wisconsin, just some light showers here in southern Wisconsin. A lot of it's associated with a cold front, which is dropping southeastward across the area. And we'll shift our winds around to a more northeasterly direction. Once that happens, temperatures will be a little cooler for tomorrow. Right now, our winds still generally out of the south. And as we take a look at future track, you can see the showers moving out pretty quickly overnight. We'll see a break during the day tomorrow, and then some more showers late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Then a bit of a break on Friday, maybe even a few breaks in the clouds uh, during the day Friday before the next batch of showers starts to arrive, probably Friday night. And then by Saturday, the strong storm system passes to our west. So that will swing our winds around at least to the southeast and south for a while, warming us up into the upper 50s, perhaps giving us a thunderstorm chance. And then by Sunday, the showers will be moving out and we'll start clearing out late in the day. So our forecast for tomorrow calls for mostly cloudy skies, not as mild as today, high of 48 and some afternoon showers. And as far as rainfall amounts, at least through Friday, not looking at a lot of rain through our most of the area, probably around a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. Seven to 10 day forecast, those temperatures go up as we head into next week. Look for high temperatures mid to upper 50s. I've dropped them back just a little bit for the middle part of the week, but still kept them mild for the end of the week with some rain chances. As we take a look at first warrant traffic right now, there's the view of the Beltline at Park Street. Again, very quiet traffic conditions on the Beltline as people are heeding the advice to stay home, not seeing any delays on the Beltline or on the interstate. There was a stalled vehicle on I-94 just east of the Highway 30 interchange. That looks like that has been cleared up. As far as travel times are concerned, the quick 14 minutes either direction on the Beltline between University Avenue and I-3990. Heading out of Madison, 26 minutes down to Janesville on I-3990 from the Beltline southward. 16 minutes to Sauk City on US-12. Only 12 minutes to Sun Prairie on East Washington Avenue and US-151 at your News 3 Now for sworn traffic. Ahead on News 3 Now at 5 tomorrow was supposed to be the start of baseball season. We'll tell you when the MLB thinks it could actually start. That's after a short break. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hey Dutch Boy, show me Mocha Red. Okay. Does it have a smooth, durable finish? Yes, and it's 50% more stain resistant. You still talking to Dutch Boy? Dutch Boy, show me Sleepy Purple. Okay. Oh, would you look at that. That's better. He'll still help us paint, right? With Dutch Boys Quality Paint and Menards Expert Service, you can twist off to something great. Right now at Menards, get 11% off everything, including Dutch Boy Paint. Ever since we opened Culver's, community has meant the world to us, especially in times like these when the going gets tough. That's why we're keeping our drive throughs open, continuing to cook every meal to order as if you were a guest in our home. We want to be here for you, today and every day, sharing our smile and safely serving with all our heart, caring for you and your family. It's our pleasure. Together, we'll get through this. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering Chevy owners complimentary OnStar Crisis Assist services and Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home. It's just our way of doing our part. training 
ground for her dreams policy from American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. This scares a lot of people, as it should. Cleaning gutters is not just a messy chore, but a dangerous one. I'm Andy, and I install LeafGuard gutters. They're covered, one piece, and do not have to be cleaned out, ever. And you never climb up and down this ladder again. Good deal? These days, it's hard to tell the difference between judges and politicians. I'm Jill Karofsky. I'm running for the Supreme Court to stop corruption. Jill Karofsky, mother of two, prosecutor, trial court judge. On the Supreme Court, I'll make decisions based on the law and its impact on real people, not corporate donors. Jill is supported by law enforcement across Wisconsin for her record as a tough, fair, independent judge. Jill Karofsky for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Well, opening day for Major League Baseball was set to begin tomorrow, but instead of planning for that, the league is trying to determine when or even if the season will ever begin. COVID-19 concerns initially moved opening day by two weeks, then pushed the start of the season to May. Now it seems like it could be a lot longer. Some MLB, MLB officials say that July, around the usual All-Star game, is when the season could start. That's according to ESPN. The league is also planning to have games in front of no fans, as well as games at neutral sites. And if you are missing sports and baseball, the MLB is having opening day at home tomorrow. 30 days will be aired across multiple platforms, including MLB Network, Fox Sports 1, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. The first game that will air is Game 1 of the 2018 National League Division Series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Colorado Rockies. That game will air at 7.30 a.m. on YouTube. Interesting. All right, we'll have a final check of your first Warren forecast when we come back. Every woman's health story is different. Every woman is unique. Your story is special, and your doctor should be too. One who's part of a woman's health team, so your health story is all about you. At Upland Hills Health, we focus on you. From PMS to menopause relief, we provide comprehensive women's health care services. The care you need, near you, for you. Upland Hills Health. We help write new health stories every day. You love your business. Every day, you coddle it, pamper it. Maybe the growing pains were hard, but you put everything into it nurtured it, and fed it, so it would grow. It's only natural that you'd want to protect it with the right insurance. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend and wrap it in the cozy warmth of the silver lining. He beat me with a bat, dumped me in a garbage can, left me to die in a freezing cold storage locker. When I was rescued, I thought my ordeal was over, but I was wrong. The legal system sometimes made me feel like a victim all over again, like my voice didn't matter. Marcy's Law gives crime victims equal rights, ensuring their voices are always heard. Anyone can be a victim. Please vote yes on additional rights for crime victims. At hy V, we're doing everything we can to make your life easier, healthier, and happier, and save you money with this week's hy V Hot Deals. Bar S Jumbo Franks, just 98 cents. Hormel Marinated Pork Loin, only $4.99. Skippy Peanut Butter, just $1.99. Jumbo Honey Crisp Apples, only $1.48 a pound. And Lay's or Sun Chips, just $1.97. Continue to count on low prices, hot deals, and more, only at hy V. Better days are ahead. I know that there'll be better days. We are all one Jeep community and we can help. So we're offering payment assistance, 24 seven support, and the option to shop at jeep.com. We're offering 0% financing for 84 months with no payments for 90 days because better days are just down the road. Jeep, helping you drive forward. Get more help with your laundry at the Laundry Cleanup Sale now at the Brothers Main. Save time and money with the latest in laundry from Whirlpool, Maytag, and Amana. Main means more. 
with free delivery on washer dryer pairs and our risk-free 30-day price and satisfaction guarantee. So you'll be 100% confident with your purchase. That's why we're the Moore Store. It's the laundry cleanup sale with more selection, more savings, and more help with your laundry. Only at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, the battle against coronavirus as hospitals fill up how one group of health care providers is dealing with an influx of patients to the ICU. Plus, the Senate finalizes an historic relief package, what's in it and how it could impact your family. And we'll meet a photographer helping families preserve precious memories from a distance. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. Being quarantined couldn't keep one France marathon runner from going the distance. The 32-year-old laid-off worker wasn't about to let a little thing like a global pandemic quarantine stop him from going the distance, so he decided to keep up his training by running the length of, the, the length of a marathon. That's more than 26 miles on his 23-foot balcony. And the feat looked incredibly boring. But thankfully, <laughs> his girlfriend was there supporting him, feeding him M&Ms and Coca-Cola along the way. It took him almost seven hours. Coca-Cola and, and M&M's, that sounds fuel, like a... Fuel champions. <laughs> yeah, but you know, when you think about it, I mean, having to turn and then run back, that, yeah, that's, that's going to be a lot tougher than running yeah. you know, straight. Sk throw so. some Skittles in there for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he heard whatever he got. Well, let's take a look at uh, high-resolution Doppler radar, band of showers moving through Madison right now. Temperatures over the next 12 hours uh, staying in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees and then dropping to the mid-40s. Low 40s by tomorrow morning with some patchy fog once the showers end. We'll see some afternoon showers tomorrow. A milder day with some thunderstorms Saturday and then mild weather for much of next week. All right, thank you, Gary. CBS Evening News is next, and we'll see you in another half hour for News 3 Now at 6.